Governor Brian Kemp is quarantining after he was exposed to somebody who tested positive for COVID-19. He made that announcement on Friday. The governor's staff is now telling us he will vote absentee. Some of you asked if people in quarantine could still vote in person on Election Day. So Joe Hankey walks us through the CDC's new guidance. After months of saying people who are exposed to COVID-19 or test positive need to quarantine, the CDC is now saying those people can go vote in person, but safety precautions are needed. The CDC released a statement to 11 Alive reading in part CDC's recommendations for isolating someone who has COVID-19 or quarantining someone who was in close contact with a person with COVID-19 would not preclude them from exercising their right to vote. The CDC on Sunday released guidance for voters planning to leave quarantine to vote in person and the Georgia Department of Public Health updated its guidance today to reflect the CDC's. The CDC recommending you wear a mask, stay six feet away from others, wash or sanitize your hands before and after voting. Good advice for all voters, but you should also let poll workers know about your condition when arriving. For poll workers helping voters who've been infected or exposed, the CDC recommends workers be provided with PPE and training for the equipment. They also need to practice social distancing and wash or sanitize their hands frequently. Fulton County's elections director Rick Barron says counties are receiving more guidance from the state today, but it presents one more last second item to deal with. Challenging to try to get the word out to poll workers at the last minute and try to implement a, a procedure in which we have not prepared. We can't turn a voter away. We want everybody to have their right to um, cast their ballot. Erica Hamilton, director of elections for DeKalb County, says if voters are ill with COVID symptoms, they can call ahead to the county so poll workers can plan to help them cast their ballot when they arrive. If a voter waits until they're in their precinct, steps will be taken, Hamilton says, to protect other voters. Once that voter leaves, we'll wash, wipe the machine down immediately and wipe any equipment down that they touched immediately to make sure that the next voter coming in line would not have those. And several counties have told us they're taking that same cleaning step after every single voter goes through a polling location. We also reached out to several counties today asking if someone raises their hand in line and says they are COVID-19 positive, whether that will bump them to the front of the line to limit exposure or not. But so far, we have not heard back. All right, we'll keep following up on that, Joe. Thanks a lot.